so I know I haven't been around very much and I haven't made a recipe, but I've been enjoying the sun outside and just like having a great time in the surf. You know, you've got to make the most of it. I'm sure many of you have not seen this amazing fruit. That is a dragon fruit. And it is quite an incredible fruit. Like not only, you know, the look of it, but the taste of it. So let's get into it. This recipe is very, very simple, and that's what I like. I like recipes to be really, really simple. I'm just one of those people who wants to get it in my mouth and not stuff around with all this and that, and I've got to add that, got to add this. You know, 15 ingredients later, you got your meal. No, stuff that. I want to eat quickly. I want to carve myself up. So, I'll tell you what you do. It's very, very, very simple. So you take your knife and you slice through the dragon fruit. Look at that. It's just beautiful. It's stunning. This is, I don't know, this is probably about 400 grams or something. It's pretty big. And I've got a couple more here. I can get through several kilos for breakfast. Look at these babies. Mm. You know, you want this sort of look on the outside. You want it to have like dying little leafy things on the outside, okay? A lot of people are like, what does it taste like? What does it taste like? Well, it's going to be hard for me to describe what it tastes like because every fruit is so unique. You know, it's got its own flavor and its own right. And the closest I could compare, the closest fruit I can compare it to is a kiwi fruit. But this is like a raspberry kiwi fruit, which is a real, real treat. And if they're grown properly and they're organic, they really taste sweet. Like, I've come across a lot that haven't been really sweet, and you probably will from some Asian grocers or something like that because they've been sprayed to death. But these are really, these have been growing wild in um, a local farmer's backyard and they just pick them and bring them to market. And so I just pick them up. They're a little bit expensive at the moment, these are a couple of bucks each, but they're worth it, you know. You know I'm going to spend whatever it takes to eat well and, you know, because I save so much other money on, you know, being sick. I'm not ever sick, so I don't have to go to the doctor, I don't need operations, I don't need drugs, pharmaceuticals. So I save a lot of money that way and I can put it into the food that I eat. Alright, so this is going to be my breakfast, four of these, yeah, I've already got into it. You can use it as lipstick, hey! What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> you fucking putting the fruit on your face. Hey! Stay out of my videos, man. This guy's trying to steal my thunder. You need to fix that. And my dragon fruit. That's the thing that we have fights over, is fruit. He always eats mine, I'm always very nice, I give him everything, don't I? It's not too bad. You know why you're watching this video? Because you knew I was going to peer, peer at it, yeah? Is my face in the camera? Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe a little bit. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Goodbye. People watch my videos, man. They don't watch your stuff. Of course they do. You're, you're really important. You are. You know, don't drop it on your carpet because it's going to leave a stain. You know, you can probably get it out, but it's pretty potent stuff. And behind us here, we have custard apples. In Australia we call them custard apples, they're similar to what you would see in America called cherimoyas and they're really sweet, really amazing, just like a cherimoya but probably better. And we have the bananas, always surrounded by bananas. A good use for the stove is to put your fruit on top of it. Anyway, I'm going to get back to eating these babies and I'll see you next video. Mm. So good. Don't hurt yourself.